Who are we feeling right now? Sean, grab the EDR. In front of you. Oh, in front of you! He said in front of you! On this episode of Paranormal Nightmare, my brothers and I travel to Osgood, Indiana to investigate the historic all girls home. I said, leave here. Over the years, families have reported claims of paranormal activity taking place inside the house. During our investigation, my brothers and I will come in contact with one of the most intelligent hauntings we have ever documented. Stop recording. Holy... Josh here with Paranormal Nightmare. Rocky, Sean, and I are in Osgood, Indiana tonight, getting ready to investigate this historical building built back in the early 1800s. The family that lived here prior to them buying it was also experiencing activity, and we've had some pretty strange experiences just doing the walkthrough. After spending time alone inside this house, it's hard to describe the energy you feel emanating from the walls. The eerie feeling of being watched as you move from room to room. The current owner of the house, Nicholas, was always a skeptic until his first experience inside this house. My first experience with the spirits or ghosts was actually in that door frame right there. I was working on the outside and I'm coming to grab the shovel that was on the side of the house and then I see her poking her head out of the house. So then I take off running around to the front of the house. And then she hangs around the stairs. After that experience, about 20 minutes later, I'm in the front of the house and she's actually standing about right here. Right here, there was a shelf here at one point, but I removed it, she was in front of it. And I could see her through the the window up there for about 10 minutes and then I, and then I walked away because I couldn't take no more. Like some kind of white garment type deal and she's got real long black hair but I couldn't see her face or nothing. You can feel her around through the house and stuff like that so but the basement is right under that steel plate. And if you just lift this plate up here There's a stairway, or the ladder, and it's just in this room here. I'm guessing at one point, because on this other side, if you look about right there, there's used to be a walkthrough to this side, but all that's filled in now, so I don't know what that was about. Yeah, no kidding. This is one stairway to the upstairs, but we won't be taking that one. And then this is another room in here. That's a bathroom. This is like your mud room type deal. Bathroom here. Not much left of that bathroom. Not at all. This is the living room, part of the living room. That's another living room the fireplace and yeah don't know what's under the carpet so this is the staircase that she hangs around is what the previous owners have said and then that's what I've kind of felt you can like kind of feel her and stuff so I don't know if she lives in a closet under it or not but so the people that lived here before had experiences uh yeah several uh that girl tried pushing her little boy down these steps and then they would slam doors and they could hear laughter and stuff like that from the ghost. So she says there's, she thinks there's five here or so. And I was walking up the stairs and her, I seen her hand on the door jam right here, but all I seen was her hand. So when I was walking up, just her hand was right here. And I just kept walking because I didn't want to see any more of it. Why am I here? And... Why am I here? 
mom's all for it, dad is kind of like, eh, and I'm totally against it, yeah. Why did you come? Okay. Why did you come? Oh, yeah. They don't want to talk it up. We came to help you leave tonight, hopefully. To find out why you're here. That's the ghost talking? Can you tell me why you're here? That's crazy. Uncomfortable. You don't like us being here? It is important to clarify that Nicholas wants nothing to do with the paranormal and has stressed his uncomfortableness with us being here to investigate. Where are my ashes? You know where ashes are? You feel anything? Is it creepy? Yeah. Makes me uncomfortable, but that's about it. It was originally built for residential use, and then the train tracks actually used to run right where 350 runs, so it was a train depot one of the first all-girls dormitories, and then a dance studio, and then it went back to being residential. That only shut? Never. Going that way anyway. Plus the wind's blowing in. I mean, you can feel the wind blowing in, so it's not going to close it. Yeah. We are in Osgood, Indiana. It is a cold, cold day. We are shooting B-roll and getting ready to get ready to start our investigation tonight at this old historic building. It's been a girl's home and a couple different families have lived here everyone has experienced paranormal activity inside this place even the current owner who was a skeptic at first so we're gonna get warmed up try to get warmed up and then head inside and get started investigating see Sean's out here in the nice warm car while Rocky and I are shooting all the B-roll. You guys can see the building behind me. The only thing that sucks about winter time is cold ass investigations. Okay, we're getting ready to get geared up, head inside, put the alarms and everything in. Get the whole place alarmed up and start the investigation. It is very cold out tonight, but we're dressed warm, so we got this. Sean over here. It's going to be a chilly one, but I think it's going to be a really good one. We caught some pretty good stuff when we were in there doing the uh, walkthrough today with the owner, so hopefully tonight will be pretty good. It sounds like the spirits are ready to communicate. So we'll see how tonight goes. There's been several families that's lived in here when it was a residential home, and they've all had paranormal experiences from seeing women, hearing women, children, loud bangs, walking, doors closing. It sounded like when we were doing the walkthrough, whatever's here wants to karma. keep Karma. Is it good karma or bad karma? If there's anybody in the house, my name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're all three brothers. We came here tonight to communicate with you, see if you needed help, or if you had a message you wanted to get out. Jack. Jack. Is there a Jack inside the building? priest. Did a priest visit this place or do you need a priest to come help you cross over? Sean. <gasps> Sean. No, no, no. It said Sean. Say so that at one time you want me to stay in this place for myself. Do you want Sean to stay here with you? Holy crap. My camera just went fuzzy. 
Can you see Sean? What's your name? There's Walton. I heard that. Yeah, I did too. That was pretty loud too. This area right here, Rocky, is where Nicholas, when he first came in here, he'd seen a woman standing right here in the doorway. And he was at the bottom of the stairs. That'd be creepy as hell. Especially if you're in here by yourself. Oh yeah. And he does not like coming in here. Do you like it when Nicholas comes in here to work on the place? Where are you at right now? Fight. Fight. Now explain this to me. Okay. Every time that goes to say something, that blue light on the EDI mm -hmm. flashes blue. Are you in this room with us right now because our alarm is picking up on you? See, there it goes. Why is it flashing? Are you standing in front of me? Since you said Sean's name, I'm gonna let Sean talk to you. Now, when we're walking through here, Rocky, there's a couple rooms we can't go into just because it's not safe. But make sure you stay off to the left. Holy. What'd it say? Am I dead? Am I dead? Yeah, talk to her. Yes. Yes, you are dead. And I'm alive, but I'm trying to help Nicholas. Do you understand that you're scaring Nicholas? The hell was that? I don't know. That was freaking creepy. Do you like what Nicholas has been doing to the place? Is that why you can't cross over? Is it because you don't know if you're dead or not? What the fuck? The hell was that? Did you hear that woman crying? I'm hearing all kinds of shit out here at the it's stairs. Behind you, Josh. That's what I'm saying. Come by these stairs. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, f that. It's over here. Sister. Sister. Come in here. I told you, back here. It's in here. It's in here. It's in here. Don't go to your right. Don't go to your left. Don't go back in that back room. Gosh, I'll get right. Three. There's three of us. Yes, there's three of us. Hey, follow me. Am I going the right way? She's probably leading you to your death if you fall through that fucking floor. Hey, which way do you want me to go? No, it said three, follow me. Oh, that, there's three of us and it said yeah. follow me. Am I going the right way? Do you want us to leave? But what happens if she's wanting us to follow her to the other side? Because she don't know she's dead. What's your name? Who is he? Who is he? That's Rocky, that's Josh behind Rocky, and I'm Sean. Now, who are you? Hear footsteps. I keep hearing like a female back towards the stairs. Kind of I wonder if something happened to a woman in that staircase. Picture. Picture. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go over by the steps. Are you down here? Are you at the bottom of the steps? Do Spirit. something. Spirit. Are you, does that mean you're not alone? 
How many spirits are in here? How did you die? Did one of your sisters die here? Walking? Yeah. Somebody's downstairs. That's what I thought too. Let's go to the bottom like of the stuff. Kind of like what? Like a thud. There was walking down here again. Okay, let's go. It was loud. Is there a woman that hangs out right here at the steps? Do you, are you wearing something white? Okay, I'm going to move forward. I thought he closed, didn't he close that door? Holy yeah. But. Oh, that's wide open. Oh my gosh. That door freaking is locked, too. That's the second door, Josh. Yeah, we had that door closed earlier. Did you open this door? Why am I here? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find out. I'm starting to think that you don't know that you have passed away. How long have you been here? Where the hell does this go? Second floor staircase. Look like something. Is it like another stair? Looked like a shadow went right through the staircase when you opened that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it almost sounds like a spirit that's confused because she's asking if she's dead. She's asking why she's still here. And maybe she just needs help. Maybe she's trapped inside this building and needs help crossing over. We've helped a lot of spirits all over the country cross over. It's possible that we could help you tonight, but we need you to come forward and talk to us. People have seen you in the windows and they've seen you by the stairs. Did you have an accident by the stairs? I wonder if that loud thud we heard earlier yeah. was that door opening. I may have been because it was a loud thud that I heard. Yeah, it was loud. I guarantee that's what it was. Are you able to open and close the doors? Choked. <gasps> choked. Is that how you died? You were choked? Did somebody choke you? We know that this was a girl's home for many years. Play with me. Play with me. That's creepy. How do you want me to play with you? What is your name? We can't help you unless you tell us your name. Where are you at right now? Cemetery. Cemetery. No way. Holy crap. So your body's in the cemetery. Did somebody do something bad to you inside this building? Did Jack hurt you? Did a priest hurt you?
Touch. Talk to me. I am. You stopped talking. I stopped talking. Sorry. I'll talk to you. Who are you going to touch? Do you want us to touch you or are you going to touch us? It's hard for us to see you. That's crazy when you stop talking and she says, talk to me. Yeah. You know, if this building is set empty for a while and there is a female spirit here, maybe she just is lonely. You know, she's trapped here. Yeah. Well, that may be the reason that she's all confused. I think someone just touched my neck. She said touch. What was that? Oh, that was a girl laughing. Yeah. Pain. Pain. Are you in pain? Fireplace. Fireplace. Where? I have no idea. I'm sure there was a fireplace in here. Well, they got a chimney. Huh? They do have a chimney on. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Whenever you get close to that staircase, she starts talking yeah. about pain and all that. And then up that staircase area and then the upstairs feels creepier than down here, I think. What's right behind you, Josh? Behind me? Off to your right. Another room. Oh, what's in there? Yeah, watch it. There ain't a floor in that one. Yeah, and the good thing is you have all these different families that's lived here and they've all had paranormal experiences while living here. Show that. What was it? Sound like a board or something moves. I can't hear anything. When we come by the staircase, you seem to be more active. Is this where something bad happened to you? Is this staircase haunted? Did you die on the staircase? D. Whoa, whoa, shut up. Did you hear a door? Door. Go back to take the camera back there. Holy. Okay, stop right here. You can see the door. Sisters. Didn't it say sisters earlier? Yeah. I swear that sounded like a freaking door opening. This door, I swear to God, when you open this, I seen a shadow. I will have to go back and look at it, but it looked like a shadow went straight up these stair this staircase. Was your sister here at one point? You and your sister? What's that? Judy. Is that your sister? Judy Knot. But like the knot, like you tie a knot. Hanging. She, she said choked. Yeah. yeah, hanging. Hanging. Ask her Not. If she was, ask, ask her if she was hung in here. Were you hung in this room? Did your name Judy? Dude, she may have just told us how she died. I ask her for bodies in here. She said cemetery, remember? We'll just ask. Is your body in here? Is anybody's body in here? Because I heard that big loud, either sound like door shutting or something. Then you come over here and mess with this door again after you believe you saw a shadow. Come back over here. Hanged. Hanged. Again, hanged. But she keeps, you know, she freaking went off after opening that door. That's what I'm getting at. And it seems like every time you get over this way, closer steps, she starts talking about death. I mean, everything that she's said so far has been... Has been... Like, what choked. the hell is that? I have no idea. Shh, don't move. Are you in here? Did somebody hang you? Yes, sir. Dead. 
somebody buried in there? Are there human bones in this house? What is that? Holy crap. Do you want us to go back upstairs? I seriously think we should have set a alarm out here by this door. What was that? What'd you hear? like a female said leaving or something. See, I don't get it. Every time we're running steps, it's when we capture something. I'm telling you, I think something bad happened to that girl on the steps, Judy. Oh, yeah. Judy, are you alone in here? Did somebody hang you right here? Or if she used up too much energy. Is somebody here on the steps with me? Can you knock on something or slam a door? Anne. Anne. Is that one of your sisters? Are you telling me the names of some of the girls that lived here? I can't. I can't. Did you not know them? It's coming. It's coming? Is it something good or something bad? You will die. Well, don't say that. <laughs> How am I going to die? That's what's crazy is I keep hearing here too. Do you want me to? Do you want me to die? She's getting more aggressive. Why don't you want to open oh, the Oh, did you feel that, Rocky? No. The whole f***ing floor shook. Are you serious? Yeah. This whole floor, like, bounced. I think she's getting mad. First tells me I'm going to die, and then pretty much just tells me now I'm not going to open the freaking door. Is that safe? Oh, she oh, said sorry. sorry. Yeah, she just apologized to me. Because we said that she was being rude and she yeah. said sorry to you. Yeah. Because she's being aggressive. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so Corbin front. front or something. I'm not sure what the first word was. But just listening to us. Like I said, I'm sorry if I made you mad, okay? Do you forgive me? Judy. We've got a camera on this back door. If you open that door again, that'll help validate that you're in here with us. Josh. Josh, make sure you apologize too. What the hell am I gonna apologize Just for? apologize. Set that alarm, Josh. Yeah, it's just when you just Judy, I'm on. sorry. Judy? Where are you at? It's so cold right here. Real. Real.
I mean, this building's cold, but I bet, I bet it's 15 degrees colder right here. Are you close to me right now? Just like that, it's warm right here again, like normal. That is crazy. Huh? So do it, but nope, to your right. Yep, stop, stop. Yeah, stop. Oh, that was just light. A lot of their experiences have been around this staircase, and the stuff that we've documented has been around this staircase. I think it's that closet. Where's the closet at? I think we should leave the camera up here, Josh. And what? Leave the house for Immune. What? I said immune. Okay, Judy, we've got alarms. Upstairs, downstairs, we've got cameras. You said you wanted help. We're going to help you tonight. Let's just stop talking to her for a few minutes and see if she says something back. I don't know. She's quiet right now. Judy, we're going to take a break. You come out to the car and warm up with us if you want. Baby Strong. What did it say? Baby Strong. Hey, Judy, we're taking a break. We'll be right back. Infant. Infant. Baby strong. Baby strong infant. infant. As my brothers and I take a break to warm up, we leave several cameras recording inside the house. During this time, we document some very compelling paranormal evidence. Okay, right now, Sean and I are going to get ready to go to the basement. From what I know, nobody's ever investigated down there. Yeah, I don't think so. So we'll head down there. You want me to get it? Uh -huh. So hard, it's hard to breathe. You okay? Hi. You okay? You need to go out? What's the matter? I know, I just can't control my breathing right now. It is harder to breathe down here. I don't understand why, because you had your mask on the whole time, but he's up there. Yeah, it just feels like something. It's covering your... It's like suffocating you. Are you down here with us, making it hard to breathe? Are you down here with us, making it hard to breathe? Judy, 
Did somebody die in this basement? God, it is so freaking foggy down here. That's so funny. Yeah, it's getting harder and harder to breathe. Yeah, we had our mask on the whole time. He was up there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we was fine. Somebody down here with us? Haunted. Are you... Is the basement haunted? I don't know what's going on in there. There's something I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. You smell it through your mask? I just can't get my breathing under control. I know the smell though. It's weird. Jimmy, are you down here? Rocky. What? Are you walking around? No. I just heard footsteps off to the right, but it sounded like it was in there mud. Can you do something let us know you're here? Touch one of us. Freezing up here, man. Who's up here with me? Josh, Josh, something on the right. Holy s. Man, what is that smell? There's something over here to the right. Josh, there's that door they said they. that it's like cave dead. Is there something back here behind this? Did somebody die where this cave dead? Who's moving? I don't know, but I'm getting a cold breeze on my hand right now. Somebody's walking in this mud. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Holy it's like something's breathing on my face. There's something behind the door. Josh, go. Here. There's something behind that door. No, he's behind this freaking where this caveman is. You back there? Who's back in behind this wall? Tell us your name. Here, just stand there and listen. I hear voices. I gotta get out of here. Okay, go. I'm telling you something's behind us. Work the door. Do you need help to get out of there? Unable to control my breathing while in the basement and feeling like I'm about ready to pass out, I decide to leave Sean alone in the basement. Josh. Knock. Knock. Josh. What? Some, something down here. Josh. What? There's something freaking down here. Okay, well, you're down there. Talk to it. Knock on that wood. If you're back in that tunnel, knock on it so I can hear you and I'll help you get out. Voices. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's 
down here, but I'm down here in the basement by myself, and right over here where I was just filming, it's all caved in, so I don't even think they know how far back it goes or anything. But I keep hearing footsteps in this mud that I'm in. And then when I was standing over by the door, I, I heard it sounded like somebody freaking trying to scratch and claw their way out. I think something just hit my head. Ain't nothing there. Did you touch me? It's so freaking hard to breathe in this mess down here. There's some kind of odor. I'm not sure what the hell's going on down here, but there's something down here. I don't think it wants me down here. Someone just touched my arm. Oh. oh my god. Tell me what your name is. Is somebody in that other room? Mm -mm. Oh! Oh god. What leave, is it? it said leave here. <laughs> it said leave here. Something hit over there. Oh my god. Something hit that over here in this corner. Probably when that happened, it said leave here. Yep. Hold on, man. I gotta get this. That's crazy. It's so much easier to breathe up here than it is down there. Screw it up, basement. There's something in there. I'm telling you, there's something in there. I think it's got to do with that crawl space. Put that cover back on that. Stop recording. Oh. Holy Do not try to touch me. Why do you want us to stop recording? We're here to try to document you and help you. And record you. I'm sewing your ass back in here. How are you? Goodbye with this lid. There. You ain't coming out now. As long was down that basement, it's not right. I don't think I ever climbed a ladder so fast in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Judy, why are you being aggressive again? So nobody was in that room when that alarm was going off when the <laughs> freaking was happening to me? We are standing right there by the doorway. I got freaking touched. Twice, and then next thing I know, something hit something over to the right. That was enough for me. Yeah, I could not get my breathing under control. No. Who was down in the basement with me? Mm -hmm. Are you down there trying to get out where it caved in? Is there any bodies buried in this place? No. Huh? No. No. no that's what I thought. Who said they want to kill me? You want us upstairs? Yes. Did somebody get hurt right here? Did somebody hang herself in this place? How did the female die? Do you show yourself to Nicholas? Do you like Nicholas? Yes. Yes. Are 
he trying to hurt Nicholas? Yes. Do you have something white on? Where is your body? Do you want us to leave? Yes. Do you not want anybody in this house? Is this your house? If you're asked to leave this house, will you do it? I don't know what it said. I can make that. I thought it said yes, but. You want us to help you leave? Okay, the female that we were talking to earlier, we're going to get ready to leave. Do you want us to help you cross over before we leave? Do you have any messages before we help you? That's where I start knocking down here. Is that you, Rocky? Or did you make that real loud noise? I, I just turned. Something goes. Yeah, I know. The lady that we were talking to earlier, can you come forward and talk to us again before we leave, please? Disagree. Disagree. What do you disagree about? We want to help you. We're sorry for what happened to you. But it's time for you to move on and go be at peace. You don't have to stay here. You can go be with your family and friends and be happy. Down. Down. I'm not going back down to the basement. There's something very bad in the basement. Cheryl. Cheryl. What is that? Cheryl. Is there a Cheryl in this room? Whoa. Who's here? Stop, stop, stop. Something was just right over there. If it ran. I don't know, but luckily I had the camera facing that way too. Is Cheryl up here with us right now? Who made that noise over here? It is cold right here. You guys feel that? Huh. Rocky, come in here real quick. How cold it is right here. Whoa. There's Something just a oh, breeze. Right here. There. It's like, remember that uh, one place that, mm -hmm. uh, that trailer was in? Mm -hmm. Me and Sean was doing this, the height. You could feel it. Who, who are we feeling right now? Sean, grab the EDR. Oh, in oh, front of you. you! It said in front of you! No I gotta film you two. Just, no, stop. Film just keep talking to it, Rocky. Talk yeah, just keep it. talking. She just said in front of you. Yeah. I film you. You know, right before that, Josh, when we I was standing right there before I moved over here, there was like a cold breeze. Right it's a short one that went right by my face. Right here. Oh, I feel it. It's right here. Are you still in front of them? Are you touching me? Cheryl, if this is you, we can feel you. Yes. Grab it. Pause it, Rocky. Pause it. Pause it. You just said to pause it. Go over there. Who are you? Oh, who are you? Are you? Rocky, tell her your name. Rocky. Rocky. Is this where you wanted us to go?
Did you want us to come to the closet? Okay, nobody's in the closet. Can you go in the closet for us? You just have to go in the closet. I have to? Yeah. That temperature's gonna drop, watch. Are you making the temperature drop in the closet? Can you hear me? Who is in this closet? Can you come in the closet with me and set my EDI off? Did somebody die inside this building? Who died? How did you die? Did somebody get hung inside this building? I say it's me. Huh? I think it said me. Hey, there was just a thump behind me again. Back in that room again. Over here? Yeah. Are you back here? We want to fill you again. We're going to help you cross over tonight. Is that okay? You don't want to be stuck in this building anymore. It's cold and it's creepy. I'm looking for something. What are you looking for? I want the thing on with the light off. Is this yours? What's ours? I want for some alone. Alone. Josh, close it. You left that in there. Are you talking about the closet? Can't see closet. Close it. Close it again. Oh. What did it say? Where am I at? Why do you keep wanting us to come to the closet? Is this where something bad happened? If you die in that closet, set my alarm off. Thirst. Thirst. Are you thirsty? Let me see, Sean. We go. Let's go out of this room and see if it sucks the alarms off. There it goes. Is that the temperature? Can you stop? Thank you. Closer. Closer. I think you passed away from a hanging and your body or your soul is stuck inside this house and we're going to help you cross over and leave this place and be free. Is that okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you accept these spirits that are inside this building, that are part of this property, and you help them cross over 
Give them the strength and the peace to cross over and be with you. Judy, Cheryl, any other spirits inside this building, it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to be at peace. Can you do that for us? God forgives you and he will accept you If you died from a hanging, we are sorry for what happened to you, and we want you to go be at peace and leave this building. We ask you to leave tonight. Can you say goodbye? I think I'm hearing fucking walking out there. That's what I thought I heard too. There's a whole bunch of walking. Yeah. Are you just talking? Could you imagine all the spirits just slowly walking out of the building? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like a freaking shit ton of walking. I don't know. I've never heard walking like that when we're doing something like that, though. It sounded like just walking downstairs, like. Yeah, just like the whole time you was doing it, just sounded like. What did I say? What do you want? Judy. We want you to leave and we want you to be at peace. There's no reason for you to be here. Lord, we ask you to please forgive the spirits inside this building. Fool. Judy, I'm not a fool. I'm trying to help you. Do you not believe in God? He will accept you. Lord, we ask that you please forgive the spirits inside this building and on this property. Strange. Strange. We want you to forgive Judy, Cheryl, Scott, anybody that's inside this building. Judy, it's not too late. You can be at peace. You know, maybe she wasn't religious, you know. Let's go down to the bottom of the steps, because honestly, I think they all went down there. Once you started talking about that, I think they all freaking left and went down there. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? You don't have to be afraid. If there's anybody in this basement, you're free to cross over. Demon. Demon. Holy. Demon. I told you there was something fucking bad down there. Why is there a demon in the basement? Any negative spirits inside that basement? We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We command you leave this house and let the spirits inside this house leave. You no longer hold power over this house. We bless this property in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Any dark and evil spirits, you must leave. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. Judy, if you want to stay in this house after we leave, that's up to you. We've tried to help you. Basement. Basement. Josh, you gotta go down there and cleanse it. No, there's like a cloud, like a mist down there. There's somewhere. something bad down that basement. Stay down there by yourself. No thanks. Holy oh, shit. no way! That's crazy. Oh, oh my god. god! No way! That is the craziest thing. Below. Oh my oh, god! It said no thanks below. Well, right before that, it said base, but. But it answered me. Yeah, it said demon, basement, and then you said go down there, and it said no thanks. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going back down there neither. Something's evil down there. Yeah, this is probably one of the most intelligent spirits we've ever talked to. Especially on that thing. I'm telling you, I think something's trapped back there where they had to uh, cave in. Dig. I'm sure. Dig. That's what right. do you want? We want to find out what's in the basement. 
But we're not digging. We're not allowed to dig here. I'm telling you, it's back in that crawl space because something was freaking crawling, like trying to dig its way out. Is there a body in there? What's on the other side of the basement that we can't see? Thank you. Below. Below. She keeps again. saying below over and over again tonight. She's kept saying below. Below. I can't go below. back. Yeah, I can't go back down there. I'm telling you. I mean, is there something down there? Yeah. And is it scarier than hell? Yes. But I seriously cannot go back down there. Maybe. No, there ain't no maybes about it. We're going to get ready to leave. Are you going to leave too? So it's either you stay here or you go find God. You will not be allowed. Sentenced. They're afraid to cross over. I think so too. Like they don't believe they're like allowed. They're afraid for judgment. Yeah. Are you afraid of God judging you? We can't help you with that. Tell me your real name. That's what I got to have. 29. Yeah, I can believe there's probably 29 freaking spirits floating around in here. Mirror. Mirror. There is a mirror in there. Where? Where? Right in here. Let's go look at it. Right here is a mirror. Children. 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 We know there were children here. What do you want with this mirror? Were they mean to you when you were here? Jessica. Jessica. Who is Jessica? You want to say anything before we leave? Creepy as hell walking through here. I'd say this is definitely one of the most dangerous houses we've investigated. Okay, everyone, we're leaving. We're staying here. Good luck. After investigating the paranormal for 16 years, we have to say this is definitely one of our most compelling hauntings my brothers and I have ever experienced. Our hope is that some of the spirits found peace and were able to move on from this property. Nicholas plans on selling the house as soon as possible. Until then, the house will remain empty with its secrets locked behind these walls.